Hey guys, what is up? Before we start today's video, there's a few things that I want to go over, uh, future things here on the channel, and thankfully we are getting closer to spring every day. The days are getting a little bit longer, and I'm looking forward to some warm temperatures so I can do more stuff with the truck in here on the channel. But the first thing is first, um, anybody that is in the North Carolina, South Carolina area, I'm going to be in Florence, South Carolina at East Coast Truck Jam March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Now, the show itself is on the 3rd and the 4th. It's a Saturday, Sunday. Um, I believe, you know, you got the main, you know, the Saturday show. Uh, there's judging, the events that goes on. Sunday, there's judging for a couple hours, more events, and then awards. So Saturday being the full day, um, I'll be there both days. Actually, I'll be there for three nights because such such a long drive for me. I come down on Friday and stay the night so I can get there in the morning on Saturday and not be tired. So um, anybody that is in that area and would like to come out, the show is an awesome show. This will be the third year that I've gone. I think it's the third year the show is put on. I've gone since they first started doing it. Um, I know that there's burnout competitions, exhaust competitions, tug of war, sound competition, um, and of course the show part of it where you get judged. So if you've got a truck or a car, because I think it is a car and a truck show, um, come out. Even if you're not going to enter in your truck and do any of those things, that's fine. You could spectate. And um, I'd like to meet some of my subscribers. I don't have a ton of subscribers, but if anybody's in the area and has some free time on that weekend, you ought to come out, check out the show. It's going to be a good time. Um, I'll do some stuff with the truck. The truck will be in the show. Um, we'll have a lot of the, you know, the wheels and stuff put on by that point. Uh, may enter in the exhaust competition, maybe the burnout competition. So uh, if you're there, you'll get to see that. If not, I'm going to be filming it and that'll be put up on YouTube. So at least you'll get to see it even if you can't make it. Um, the second thing is that I have not forgotten about the exhaust. I've gotten a bunch of messages about people reminding me about, I said I was doing exhaust and I understand that. Um, it's very difficult for me to handle everything that goes on in my life. I do school, I work, and then I try to keep up with YouTube. Um, I have worked some Saturdays and I've been out of town some Saturdays and I have not been able to get the exhaust done because of that. I promise we are still gonna do the exhaust. It's still gonna get done. Um, I'm actually hoping to this weekend. Actually, I'm, if the weather stays nice like it has been, we'll put the new wheels on the truck too this weekend, but that's purely dependent on the outlook of the weather. If it looks two weeks out and we're not showing any type of snow or anything, I'll do it. But that's enough of everything that we need to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So today's video is um, basically on a modification I've done to the truck that you don't really usually see in my videos, but the videos where I have showed this, there's been a lot of questions, and that is the gauge cluster that I have here in the truck, the, uh, the you know, the cluster kit, gauge kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, this kit uh, is a do-it-yourself type kit. Um, it's from US Speedo, and I'm going to put the, the link to their website down below. They make custom gauge clusters for trucks, cars, you know, you name it, Dodge, Chevy, Ford, um, you know, the list goes on. I don't even know what all they do, you know, kits for, but that's a lot. And there's a lot of different styles for this truck. This is their Escalade style with the uh, brushed rings, the brushed aluminum looking rings, not the chrome rings. Um, I actually had a set of the chrome ring one and I actually gave that to Michael who has the Tahoe. So he has that kit in his truck. But the it doesn't, it's, doesn't all come together for you. It's not plug and play. What it comes with is um, a brand new, uh, let's see, the plastic cover you keep and obviously the actual circuit board and all that, but it comes with the needles, the actual plate itself back there that gives the cool little numbers and the piece that uh actually that is right the top cover is this whole piece that has all the cool aluminum trick aluminum pieces in it and everything um what you do when you get the kit i think that i'm gonna have to go back and check but this kit is i want to say it's it's either 150 or 250 dollars it's not cheap but it looks awesome and i mean everybody that's noticed it has made a comment wondering where I got it so I wanted to make a video about it but it is a do-it-yourself kit um, you take it you take the speedometer out um, it's not really that hard you know you take your dash plate off lower the steering wheel put it in first gear pull this thing off uh, it's four bolts like eight millimeter bolts pull this out it's one wire harness clip and pull it out and then you actually take it apart now I know it sounds kind of scary 
but if you if you take your time and you notice and pay attention to how you've taken it apart it's it's really not that scary i've done it um, the first time I put it together, I did mess it up. The needles were a little bit off, and I did have to take it back apart and readjust the needles. But they actually have directions, and they recommend that once you kind of get the needles in place, you plug it back in, and it'll reset the stepper motors uh, because more than likely you're going to move the motor, and the motor's not going to be set on zero like it should be. And you kind of play with it. But they include instructions, and it's very descriptive, and it was very helpful. Uh, they include the tools that you need to get the um, the needles off, and everything in the kit is awesome. And I, I did it so long ago, I don't have the components of the kit. I wish I did um, that I could have showed you. But it comes with everything you need to do it. And it, it was well worth it. Um, I get a whole lot of compliments on it, you know, in the videos where I've shown it. Uh, there's nothing crazy. Uh, it's just the, uh, gotta find my keys. It is just the uh, stock lighting back there. So, you know, it's nothing too crazy. We just got the ignition on right now. Um, just a regular old green lights that keep with it. I know somebody's going to make a comment about oil pressure like they have before. I actually have the new sensor. I need to put that in. I might put that in tomorrow, actually. Um, I know that comment's coming. <laughs> but, you know, there you go. It's nothing too crazy. You know, I'll start it up here. And there's all your needles working and everything. Um, everything works just like it should. Tax speedometer, fuel gauge, battery voltage, transmission temp. And I know I'm going to get ready to get a comment about the transmission temp. This is the gauge cluster. It's like the actual speedometer cluster itself is, is um, not original. Um, I had it replaced because the stepper motors went out and the lights went out in the old one. And it was replaced with one out of a 2500 HD. Uh, it's exactly the same. Believe it or not, these trucks have the transmission temperature sensor in them, but doesn't have the gauge. And GM is terrible about that. I, they, they blow my mind. The, the hardware is in here, but they just don't do it. It's just like when you buy one of these in a base model and don't have fog lights. The harness is there for the fog lights. It's just the, the actual housing and the bumper's not. Um, you know, it's to keep streamlined production in with the vehicles and try to keep the lower cost trims and the upper trims and it's just a, it's marketing ploy and just market placement but you know like i was saying with the gauge cluster very easy to install uh us speedo makes it and i'm going to put the this the uh link to the website down below and actually let me see if i can pull up on my phone and actually figure out the price all right so i hope that the uh, camera picks it up but uh this is the us speedo site um if you go on here the price is 239.99 that is a little bit steep uh, i'm not gonna lie that's that isn't expensive for just a gauge cluster but it is definitely worth it um i've loved it it looks awesome it gets you know people typically compliment it whenever they see it um, and it is called their escalate kit and they make kits for a ton of vehicles when i just went in there i didn't realize what all they did and i mean if you just click on chevrolet and they've got like all of the vehicles like the caprice and the cruise and the impala and the corvettes camaros silverados um you know it just goes on and on uh, GMC and all those it had kits for those so go there and check it out if you're interested in it uh, the kit is now I think it's about two years old um, actually I think it's almost exactly two years old and it's held up fine there's not been a single problem with it uh, it's worked great it looks great I'm happy I did it you know kind of there's something for yourself because you're the one that has to sit in here and drive the truck <laughs> so uh, you know it you, you know there there you go you get you, you get the idea you're the one looking at it so it's kind of enjoyable to see it's kind of a little more racier look to it anyway so that's what i wanted to make the video on today um for any of you who stick around usually it's my loyal subscribers who stick around to the end of the video so i'll talk about this to you guys who have stayed with me throughout the video um i had a comment made that we were not going to fit the new wheels and tires on the truck and um maybe this person is still watching here on the end i'm not real sure uh where you're getting that from they're not they're thinking we're not going to fit 35s on a four inch kit and uh i think we'll fit them those are 33s and that's a whole lot of room up in that fender well I don't, you know I, 
we'll find out. I think this weekend, that's kind of why I'll rush the idea of putting these wheels and tires on because, you know, let's, let's, let's see. Can you actually fit 35s on a 12 wide on a four inch kit? Now I'm gonna give the person the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they didn't hear what me saying I had a four inch kit. Maybe they think we're on a leveling kit. I don't know why they think that, but I mean, maybe just they watched some older videos. We're not on a leveling kit anymore. So uh, I don't know, make your bets down in the comment section below. Do you think they're not gonna fit? Uh, maybe they won't. I don't know, I'm just going off on a guess that we can fit 35s on a four inch, you know? So anyway, I thought that'd be kind of funny. Thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Take care. Another video coming out Friday of this week. Sorry I had to mix up the upload schedule. Uh, things just kind of fell behind, but I appreciate you watching. Take care. Have a great day.